This is why girls stop responding, what to do when she pulls away slash she ghosts you or ignores you. Leave a like on the video my love and if you are new to the channel subscribe to receive new advice, do this to help the channel continue to grow, leaving a like is all I ask as a gift. If you have ever had someone stop responding to you or ghost you, you will know how truly awful it can feel. You start to question how a person could be so mean and wonder if there is something wrong with you. If a girl does this to you, it can feel like your world is starting to tumble in. You still like her a lot and hope that she would just come back running to you. You probably check your phone a thousand times a day to see if she has replied to your last message and you dream about running into her on the street. Something like this can really knock your confidence, which is why it's important to understand what makes a girl stop responding and then what to do when it happens. So, today's video, gentlemen, we are going to cover just that. By the end of this video, you will have the tools to deal with this if it ever happens to you, which I really hope it doesn't. Well, you will be an expert. Like and subscribe, and stay tuned. So, here are the 6 reasons why a girl has stopped talking to you. Other guys, there is nothing to stop other guys from hitting on that girl. She might be curling up for movie nights with you and then meeting another guy for a late night drink. Eventually, she will have to make a choice, and sadly, that choice may not have been you. Often, if a girl does have multiple guys on the go, she has to make a choice, and she's probably too scared to simply message you back and say so. Instead, she will just stop responding to your messages and block you out of her life. In this case, there is nothing that you could have done differently because you were completely blindsided. But the good thing to take away from this situation is that, because it's nothing to do with you and everything to do with her, you don't need to change yourself in any way. She's busy, we all have very busy lives with responsibilities and those never-ending to-do lists which needed to be done yesterday. She might like you but stop responding because she has no time. It does not stop it from feeling horrible on your end, though, because you might not realize that she's busy. This could be the reason, so please don't burn those bridges and be rude to her. Wait to see if she gets back to you and actually apologizes and says, sorry, I've been so busy. She is playing hard to get, treat them mean to keep them keen. A girl that stops responding to you might be playing hard to get. By not responding to you quickly, or at all, she's keeping you on your toes. This is a tricky one because she could also be avoiding you on purpose. Try to bump into her and see how she acts when you guys are face to face. You are not mysterious enough, did you give away everything about yourself on the first date? This could be the reason why she's not responding. Girls love a man of mystery who can keep them guessing. They want you to tell them just enough about yourself, but not too much. They want to wonder what you actually do in your free time when they are not around, and who else you are actually talking to. This keeps them coming back for more. If you think that this could be a reason, try to arrange another date and be a lot more vague. You didn't give enough away, it could be the complete opposite problem. You might have not told her anything about yourself, and she might be wondering if you are fake or if you have something to hide. You need to give her just the right amount of information, not too much, but not too little. Tell her enough to keep her going, like your job and some information about your hobbies. Slowly, you can reveal more about yourself, but if you don't tell her anything, she will wonder what's going on and stop responding. She is probably bored, it's harsh, but it's true. She could simply be really bored and not that interested. Not everyone will find you interesting, and sometimes, as hard as you might try, the relationship is just not working out. She might freak out and ignore you instead of having to face you and tell you that she's bored. It's not nice, but this just could be one of those things that's the reason why she's not responding. You are being too aggressive, you might not be meaning to be super keen, but it might come off that way. You can easily come across as too aggressive by being too interested. This might result in you messaging her a lot, even when she does not reply, phoning her over and over again, or being super intense when you are face to face. Girls do not like this type of behavior, and it is viewed by them as aggressive. If you think this might be putting her off, you need to slow down and be a little bit calmer. There's no point in being keen on her if it's going to push her away. She found out about your behavior, you might like her a lot, but maybe you had other offers from other girls and you took them up on those offers. The result of this could be that she has found out that you were flirting with other girls or that you were seeing them at the same time as when you were seeing her. Now it's awkward, but also very understandable as to why she would actually stop responding to you. To be perfectly honest, you might never get her back if she does kind of catch on. 
If you really want her, though, it is possible, but you need to prove to her that you have changed and she's the only one for you. She is not into you, not everything in life goes our way, sadly, and no matter how hard we work to get the things and the people we love, it might just never happen. Even though everything may have been going well at one time, she might have realized that she is just not that into you. It's not your fault, and you can certainly hold your head high knowing that you did everything you could, and another lucky lady now can have her chance with you. What should you do when a girl stops talking to you? The first thing you need to do is check in with yourself. I have made this number one because it's the most important. The first thing to do after facing this type of rejection is to check in on yourself. This is especially true if it turns out that she cheated on you or she didn't like you. Spend some time doing things that make you feel happy, like playing Warcraft, meeting up with friends, re-watching Squid Games. Take some time to process what has happened, but don't let it stop you from getting back out there. A lovely lady is waiting for you to come along. The next thing is to not rush into texting her. When someone stops responding to you, it's very tempting to rush to your phone and message her over and over again. Now, this is not healthy, and it's something that you should avoid because, well, you don't want to look desperate. Let the land settle and wait for her to want you. She might even message you first if you practice some patience. Very important, don't mention the fact that she has not replied to you if you do make contact with her again or run into her on the street. You don't want to come across as desperate or bitter. You want to seem cool, calm, and collected, even if inside you are feeling anything but. Don't start by asking her out again. Do not rush things. If you are seeing each other again, then let everything happen organically, and don't scare her. She might feel backed into a corner if you ask her out straight away. You might even have to be friends for a while. The long game can get you to where you need to go. Don't be passive-aggressive towards her. Passive aggression is a pattern of behavior where we indirectly express negative feelings instead of openly addressing them. When we are hurt by an action someone has taken, it can be easy for us to be passive aggressive without even really realizing it. Try not to be passive aggressive towards her, even if you are just speaking about her to a friend of a friend. It can all get back to her eventually. Be valuable to her. Show her how valuable you could be in part of her life. Humans love compliments, so give her some, and it could be enough to win her over. Do you really like her? Now, ask yourself if you really, honestly like her, or if you are just simply attracted to her. Attraction is very different from liking someone. Attraction is important at the beginning, but then we need to start liking the person if it has a chance of lasting. So, take a step back and think, do I really like someone who will stop responding to me or someone that has ghosted me completely? The answer will most likely be no, which means it's time to move onwards and upwards. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. 17 Flirty Body Language Signs from a young age, girls learn how to read body language, so they are more perceptive at a young age when compared to boys. This is partly because they are the more emotional being and also because they are taught to be more perceptive by their parents. This is why women can read a man's body language much easier than a man can. Hence, why women normally know when a man is flirting with them. On the other hand, men can't read body language as well, they often misread body language or just not notice it, which means they can miss it when a girl is flirting with them. This is why it's so useful for men to learn the flirty body language signs, which is, of course, what I'm going to be teaching you in today's video. Here we go, like and subscribe. First, she starts playing with her hair. Girls will often start playing with their hair when they are flirting with a guy. You might notice that she flicks her hair over her shoulder or she might twirl it around her fingers. Girls often do this when they are giving a guy that flirty eye contact from across the bar or when they are listening to a guy talk. She might also keep putting her hair up and down, which can be quite distracting, but this is, in fact, a flirting technique. Speaking of eye contact, she will make a lot of eye contact with you. She looks you in the eye or she flicks you glances from across the room, from across the bar. She looks over to you, flashes you a quick look, and then quickly moves her gaze to look down at the ground or back to her friend. This is a very flirty eye contact method. Have you ever looked over at someone just because you can feel them looking at you? Well, yes, you will get a lot of this. 
Well, this is something that, as humans, we can naturally sense. And when a girl flashes you a quick look across the bar, you look around and wow, you notice her, which is what she really wants. Another type of flirty eye contact is when you are speaking to a girl, and she looks into your eyes. She's listening to what you are saying and taking it all in by looking at you. It's flirty, seductive, and even romantic. She gives you a broad smile. It is always a nice feeling when someone smiles at you, right? Come on, let's all agree with this one. When a girl gives you a big broad smile, it is a type of flirty body language. When we smile, our brain feels happy, and our smile makes it even happier. It also makes whoever we are smiling at happy. Now, three types of smiles exist, reward, affiliation, and dominance. When a girl is giving you a broad smile, she is either giving you a reward or an affiliation smile. She dresses up more. You will notice she puts in a lot of effort when she sees you. She wears makeup, does her hair, and dresses nicely. You might notice that she's wearing a new dress for the date or she has a new pair of jeans on when you run into her accidentally at the supermarket. She wants to look her best for you and to make a great impression every time she sees you. Now, although this is not directly associated with body language, it's something flirty, especially when her new dress is short. She arches her back. Now, this one is not always easy to spot, but if you pay attention, you will definitely see it. Arching our back is an involuntary body language sign of attraction. A girl will arch her back by shifting her hips backward, which helps create a curve in the lower back, which can be noticed by an observer. You might be wondering why our bodies would do this, well, for women, it makes their curves look more pronounced, which is very effective to the male gaze. Even if you don't know she is arching her back, you will probably like what you see. She blinks a lot. We all blink, and we all blink a lot. It is not something we normally notice because we do it so often and so quickly. You might have, however, experienced this before, you're talking to someone, and you notice they're really blinking quite a lot. Now, girls will blink a lot when they are with a man that they are flirting with. You might notice that she is blinking quickly, and she tilts her head to the left or to the right slightly. This is her literally batting her eyelids at you, which is a super flirty signal. When she flutters her eyes, they show heightened arousal and emotion, and girls will often also apply makeup to their eyes to draw attention to them. If a woman is batting her eyelids at you, this is a nice flirty sign. She tries to shift your focus towards her lips. I am sure you have found yourself attracted to a girl's lips before, and it's natural to be attracted to them and to want to kiss them. It is normally a sign that she wants you to kiss her, or that she wants you to think about kissing her. She might pout her lips, run her finger over them, bite the corner of her lip, or wear red lipstick when she's on a date with you. She looks at you seductively, she points out her lips, sucks in her cheeks, and narrows her eyes. This is what happens when a woman is looking at you seductively. She's trying to draw you in, seduce you, and get all of your attention. Now, she might do this while you are nearing the end of the date and thinking about what to do next, or she might do this from across the room. Basically, if a girl does this, she is next level flirting with you, and she wants whatever she can get, so take it as a sign to make your move and take her home. She crosses her legs. When a woman crosses her legs, it helps to create a silhouette. It makes her bust look bigger, her hips look smaller, and then her legs longer. It creates a vision of an ideal woman that most men are searching for. It is also just a comfortable way for a woman to sit, but if she does it and leans in a lot towards you, then she's giving off super flirty body language. She laughs a lot. She laughs even at the jokes that you don't really think are that funny. She finds you hilarious, which is super important for any relationship or even just when you are dating someone. If you can't laugh at and with each other, then it is not going to last that long or be that fun. You have to be able to have fun together and have a laugh. The truth is, she might find you funny, but probably not enough to normally laugh at your least funny joke. She is laughing to flirt with you and show you that she's interested in you. She strokes a random object. This is a sign of nervousness. If a girl plays or strokes a random object, then it normally shows you that she's nervous. Stroking the object or playing with it gives her something else to focus on while she's talking and listening to you. She walks pointedly. When she walks up to you or away from you, she walks like she's on a mission. She walks quickly and in a straight line. This is another form of nervousness, but also, she looks better walking like this than slouching and walking slowly, so it's a sign of flirting. 
her cleavage is more exposed. If you have known her as a friend or as a work colleague, then you might notice she starts wearing lower cut tops and dresses when she's around you. She is showing off her cleavage and wants to expose it to you. It is flirty and seductive all at once. This is also something she is consciously doing to try and get your attention. She nods aimlessly when you are talking. She keeps nodding. Now, you might ask yourself, why is she nodding? She's not being silly, she's nodding because she wants to show you that she's listening. It can look a little funny, but once she becomes less nervous and more comfortable around you, it should stop. She blushes. She goes bright pink when you pay her a compliment, when you see her, when you walk up to her and say hi. She might suddenly go bright pink, giggle, and softly say hi back. This can also happen when you are paying a girl a compliment. She might say, oh, I don't think so, or thank you, and then she turns bright red. It is not always easy to see when a girl is blushing anymore because of makeup, but when you can tell, it's nice because it shows you she's a little nervous around you and is ready to do some flirting. Her voice changes. Girls' voices get higher when they are nervous or around men that they like. You might notice her voice going higher or maybe lower sometimes. It will be her normal pitch or other times it will be higher, and she might match your voice sometimes as well. Voice changes always mean something good. Her pupils dilate. This one is technically not classed as body language because it is something our bodies do without us asking to do it, but it's still a flirty sign that our body produces. We obviously can't see it because, well, we can't really see our own eyes, but when we like someone and are flirting with them, our eyes will often dilate. That means our pupils get bigger. Now, our pupils dilate because of a surge of love hormones, that's oxytocin and dopamine. So, next time you are wondering whether or not a girl is flirting with you, just look deep into her eyes, and you will be able to tell. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. 12 Subconscious Signs She Wants You, Body Language Signals That Reveal Her Attraction To You Is there a female in your life who is being coy and hard to get? Not to worry, it's not as difficult to figure out if she likes you as you might imagine. Just knowing which precise tiny indications to watch for is the trick. Now, according to a recent psychological study, men are more likely to perceive a behavior as flirtatious and seductive than women are when they observe the same behavior. Men frequently misinterpret women's messages. However, we don't want you to miss a promising opportunity, so to help make this type of communication easier, we're going to give you the signs that she likes you. I hope you're ready, like and subscribe. She lets you know that she's available. She may be very forward by asking you about your relationship status, but she still needs to find a way to let you know that she's single. A girl will tell you if she's not in a relationship just to see how you respond. It could be, oh, I'm not actually on any dating apps, or the blatant, I'm really sick of being single. By discussing dating and her most recent adventures, or grumbling about the people she is seeing, she will want to make it clear that she is open to meeting new people. The latter is her way of letting you know that, despite the attention she is receiving, she is interested in you and is hoping that you will take that hint. Before checking for any hints, you need to chat with her for 10 minutes. A 10-minute flirtation period was allowed for participants in a recent study. Now, these people were recorded on camera, and after it was determined whether or not they were flirting when they were interviewed. The study team discovered that early in the conversation, all signs of interest were meaningless. After at least four minutes of conversation, if the lady maintained the same signs repeatedly, it indicated genuine interest. Women, for example, seemed to relax as the talking progressed. When someone was interested, they tended to tilt their heads, made more hand signals, and adjusted their clothing. Because of this, it's important to engage a woman in conversation for a few minutes before attempting to read any level-related cues that she may be giving off. Keep an eye on her mannerisms. Although a girl will make an effort to hide her body language, I know, makes it very difficult for you, doesn't it? But if you look for it, you can spot the indications. If you see her glancing in the mirror, she could be preening for her reflection, perhaps specifically for you. Now, preening is the act of making oneself look good when one is with another person. Open body language is another indication to watch for. She does this by facing you and pointing her feet in your direction, when intentionally turning her head to the side and grinning at you. 
If she is crushing hard, she most likely cannot help it. She could even pull her stomach in while pushing her chest out and pulling her shoulders back. She has dilated pupils. When you talk to her, pay great attention to her eyes. Are her pupils large and round, or small and pointed? A lady will reveal slight physical changes when she feels closer to you. Your brain releases oxytocin and dopamine in reaction to physiological responses like sexual arousal or desire, and this has an impact on our pupil size. It may be a sign that a lady is content and at peace when her pupils widen and enlarge. It's possible that you are approaching her more, and that she's beginning to feel drawn to you. You will notice she's interested in the girls around you. Her interest in knowing about your social life is likely motivated by more than simple curiosity. A girl who is interested in you will try to determine whether you are seeing anyone else right now. She'll probably become curious if she notices you snooping around your girlfriends and inquire about them. If she does, subtle comments such as, so, how long have you two been dating, or sly remarks such as, you two look great together, are a few examples of how a girl can make an effort to try to understand the nature of your relationships with other ladies. There is a change in her voice. Take note of a woman's voice when you first meet her. If you notice a gradual rise or decrease in her vocal tone, it can be a sign that she's drawn to you. We regularly change our vocal tones in everyday speaking situations in an effort to stand out from the crowd. When we are drawn to someone, our voices become quieter, louder, or more intense. So try to pick up on those little changes in her voice as you talk to her more. She can be telling you more through her behavior rather than her words. Talking too much or too little, and there is no in-between. Girls love to chat, as we all know, but is this girl talking a little too much, or not enough? If she likes you, she might not be able to resist, so watch for either of these signs since worried people tend to be either too chatty or extremely shy. You might have to take the initiative and approach her with questions if you are into her. She will ask you a billion questions. Asking you questions is a surefire indicator that a girl likes you. It's amazing, right, that she wants to find out more about you? You might wish to end a one-sided conversation if you are doing all the talking. She either has no interest in you because she is utterly bored, or she is uninterested and well, has nothing to add. So, to keep this easy, keep a conversation moving using open-ended questions. She's trying to discover more about you and wants you to share deeper information by asking questions that go beyond a simple yes or no answer. She is secretly gazing at you. Do you ever feel as though someone is watching you? Her eyes, if she likes you, will almost always be locked with yours. As you scan the room, you see her looking away in an instant, looking a bit ashamed to be caught, possibly because she didn't think you would catch her staring at you. She's probably interested in you if she's stealing glances from you and not just the fleeting ones. She recalls information from earlier conversations. So you've been chatting to a girl a lot, and she keeps bringing up bits and pieces from earlier conversations. You've made an impression, and she's trying to tell you she likes you. Making the decision to express your feelings to someone is scary. Instead, you should focus on the minor details. You can be very certain she cares for you if you find yourself thinking, wow, I can't believe she actually remembered that about me. So keep in mind that not everyone has a perfect recall. She may not overtly bring up previous discussions you've had so that you don't think she likes you as well, but it might be a case that she does happen to slip something in, and you think, hmm, she must like me. She asked me how my sister was doing when I know she had tonsillitis three months ago. She keeps an eye on you as she flirts with others without asking you. She wants to know how you feel about her, and she will do this by flirting with nearby people to test how you respond to them. For example, she observes you carefully because she wants to know if being around other males affects you in any way. She strikes up conversations and texts are answered immediately. In the past, a couple might get by with just a letter to their partner every few weeks. However, Communication is instantaneous in the 21st century now, and there are several ways to communicate, including phone conversations, text messages, emails, social medias, so much much more. So no matter how many ways there are to communicate, everyone has a right to their privacy and a break from the phone of a computer. You are on the right track with her, though, if you feel like you can hardly put your phone down before she answers your text messages. Even better would be for her to strike up the conversation. She is keeping the lines of communication open, which is important since it's obvious she wants to speak with you. In general, women show their interest in things far more delicately than the guys do, 
so the more you pay attention to the small signs in her body language, her physiology, and speech, the more you will appreciate her level of attraction to you.